Okay, so here I'm going to show you how to crop items, special crop items, um, how to create drop shadows for your items um, in your Google Classroom. So the first thing I'm going to show you is cropping. So here, here's an example of an item that has a really large area, right? So there's nothing occupying this space up here, yet the box goes all the way up there. Now, the reason that I want to crop that is as I start adding elements to my classroom, it can get difficult for me to click on the items that I want to click on. So if this couch is now in front of this sign, I can't click on the sign anymore, right? So by making this box around the couch smaller, it'll allow me to have easier access to other items in my classroom. So the way that I do that is I double click on this couch, I get the crop um, box around, and then I can bring down that area and kind of hug it as tightly as possible to my item to make my life easier as my Google Classroom gets more populous. All right, so now this is clickable behind the couch, and I've just made my life a lot easier. All right, so that's the first thing. The second thing is special crop. So let's say this sign here, I don't want this to be um, a square. I want it to be a special shape. So what I can do is I can double click on this item. It brings up the crop box. Instead of just going and cropping like I normally would from all four sides, I go over here to my cropping tool. I click down to this down arrow. This is the mask image option. And now I can mask this image to any shape that I want. And these are all the same shapes that you're familiar with from using um, Google Slides. So if I go here, I can crop it to have rounded corners. I can crop it to be a circle. So that's pretty cool. All right, so once I have that done, I can move it into place. Now the next thing I want to show you, actually I didn't mention this at the beginning of the video, but I do want to show you how to utilize guidelines in slides. So if I wanted this to be centered on the whole slide, I would drag it until I see that big red line that goes down the middle. Now I know this is the center of the slide. I can also center it on other items in my slide. So for example here, this is now centered on the couch. The last thing I want to show you is how to create drop shadows. So I'm going to go format format options. Now I have this item selected. So this drop shadow is what I'm talking about. So if I click drop shadow, you'll see it's very um, slight, but you get that kind of 3D effect. And I already added that to the couch, but same thing. Here's without, and here it is with. And so you can also um, adjust this as well. So if you want it to be a little bit more intense, you can change the distance. If you want to change the angle, maybe you have a window in your classroom and you want the shadow to go a different direction, you can change the way that the shadow falls. And you can make the shadow darker or lighter using the transparency, transparency slider. You do also have the option to change the color of your shadow. So if you were doing this more as kind of like a cool effect, you can change the color, um, and that's pretty interesting too. So now it looks like my couch is glowing, so it kind of creates that idea of having some, some ambient lighting in your classroom. And that's the gist.